Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 2, question number 8. Uh, it, the question says, the graph below shows the number of revolutions over time in seconds made by a juicer. What is the rotational speed of the juicer in revolutions per minute? The nice thing is this question has things in revolutions already. I don't know how you do it otherwise, but it is what it is. You don't have to convert anything, except seconds to minutes. Well, I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, and I hope that you do too. So all I'm going to do is look to see at 60 seconds where the uh, the answer happens to be. Now, this only works because the, gla the graph itself is linear. It makes a nice straight line, which means the uh, revolutions per minute won't change over time. The thing's constantly running at whatever speed. Now, if you had a different type of graph where it went up, you may have to do averages at every 60 seconds, blah, 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 whatever. There's a billion ways to do it. But the quickest way is just to pick the answers that are at minutes. And every other one is at a minute. The simplest way is just to go to 60 seconds, see where it connects right there, somewhere over in this area, or a little bit more than 150. So my answer is 160 rotations per minute. You didn't want to do that. You wanted to make it more complicated, fine. Go up above 300, where it's about, uh, you know, 320. Divide it into two parts, and you'll find out that it's 160 rotations per minute. And you could do 180 divided, whatever the number at 180 is, divided by 3, or 240 divided by 4, whatever you want to do, but I don't know why you go into that much detail. As long as you have a nice straight line, it's a linear function, things work out great. Just find where 60 seconds is, because that's a minute. Draw your pen over to the left, or pencil, or whatever you're using. Find the answer, pick the one that's closest. Number eight's a really simple question to get right. So, shouldn't be too hard. Good luck.